which came to pass in thee, we in no wise comprehend. Not the angels nor we man, O oh, the Virgin Mother pure, righteous elder Simeon, now embraceth in his arms both the author of the law and the master of all things. Since the fashioner had will to save Adam whom he formed, he came down, dwelt in thy womb, O thou virgin chaste and pure. All the race of a mortal man blesseth thee, O maid most pure, glorifying thee with faith as the mother of our God. Come behold ye Christ the Lord and the Master of all things. Him doth Simeon now hold in the temple on this day. Thou dost look upon the earth, and thou causest it to quake. How then doth a weak old man hold thee in his aged arms? Simeon lived many years till he had beheld the Christ, and he cried out unto him, Now do I seek my release. Thou, O maiden Mariam, art in truth the mystic tongues, who within thy blessed womb has conceived the ember Christ. Willingly was thou made man, who art God before all time. To the temple thou art brought, as a babe of forty days. When the master of all things came down from the heaven's heights, blessed Simeon the priest took him up into And my sense of sight, O Lord, so that I may clearly see and proclaim thee as my God. In the shadow and letter of the law, let us the faithful contemplate a prefiguring. Every male child that openeth the womb is holy unto God. Therefore do we magnify the firstborn word, the Son of the Father, who is without beginning, the firstborn child of a mother, who hath not known wedlock. 
O the Virgin Mother pure, wherefore to the temple's courts dost thou bring a newborn babe to the arms of Simeon? In the shadow and letter of the law, let us the faithful contemplate a prefiguring. Every male child that openeth the womb is holy unto God. Therefore do we magnify the firstborn word, the Son of the Father, who is without beginning. The firstborn child of a mother who hath not known wedlock. To depart hence do I seek of thee, O my fashioner. For O Christ I have beheld thee, my bright and saving light. Two nestlings and a pair of turtle doves were ordained for them of former times. Instead of these, the divine elder and the chaste prophetess Anna ministered unto him that was born of the virgin as to the child of the father. And they magnified him as he entered the temple. Him whom ministers above serve with trembling and with awe. Here below does Simeon now take in his arms and Nestlings and a pair of turtle doves were ordained for them of former times. Instead of these, the divine elder and the chaste prophetess Anna ministered unto him that was born of the virgin as to the child of the father. And they magnified him as he entered the temple. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In thine nature thou art one, yet in persons thou art three. Keep thy servants from all harm, who believe and trust in thee. The elder cried, Thou hast restored unto me the joy of thy salvation, O Christ. Receive thy servant, who hath wearied himself in the shadow. To be a new initiate and sacred herald of grace, as he magnifieth thee with praise. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, the hope of all Christians, Keep and shelter and preserve them that set their hope on thee. Acting as a divine interpreter, the chaste, hallowed, and venerable Anna openly confessed the Master with all reverence in the temple. And proclaiming the Theotokos, she magnified her before all them that were present.
Oh, 